We're going to talk about different types of data and all of the different data descriptions we can look at. Um, we're going to talk about centers of data, unusual features, the spread of data, and the shape of data. And we talked about a couple of these already, so we're just going to elaborate on those today. So when you open your Foldy, we can see we have a dot plot here. We've talked about all things with a dot plot. Um, we have the mean that we can find from a dot plot. This is the average. The median is going to be the middle number after they have been put in order, right? Some of you are struggling with that, so least to greatest. Mode, they have mode under centers of data. We're gonna put a star here. Mode is not actually a center. Um, I think they just decided to include it here. Shows up the most often. So when we look at this particular dot plot, we have um, all kinds of things. The mode you can see right here is 10. It shows up the most. The middle we talked about low high, low high, low high, low high. So you can see here the middle is 11 or you could list them out. Um, our average, we're going to have to add them up. So we have, I'm going to start up. 8 and then 10 times 3, so we have 30 because each of these is a 10. 11 and 11 is 22. 12 and 12 is 24 and 14. So we would add all these up. So 10, 18, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. We get 98 and we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 pieces of data. So then we would divide. Uh, add a zero, right? Because this was nine, eight, eighty, and it's almost nine. Uh, nine times nine is eighty-one. So we'll just do eight seventy-two, or we could also go through and write it as a fraction. We'll just say approximately ten point eight is the the ages of the moviegoers. This is actually going to have a bar over it because you're going to see that that eight is repeating. So the average age of the moviegoers is 10.8 years old. The middle age was 11. 10 was the age that showed up the most. Um, so again, these are your two measures of center, mean and median. When they ask you that, mode is just an extra piece. Unusual features that we can talk about um, clusters. Clusters are going to be groups of data that are close together. So you can see here we have a cluster from 16 to 18. We also have a cluster from 22 to 25. A gap is going to be um, space that has no value. So you can see right here, this is a gap. So we could say we have a gap from 19 to 21. And outliers are gonna be data that is far from the group. We talked about that the other day. There are no outliers on this particular example. Um, the spread of the data, We've talked about this often. The spread of the data, I can find the spread a part of my data with the range. And remember, that is the difference, meaning we subtract between the lowest and the highest data point. And we also said the other measure of spread was that IQR. And remember, that is uh, your quartile three minus your quartile one or your upper quartile minus your lower quartile. So you can see here on this example, right, the IQR is the range of your box on these two. And then from the low to the high is the actual range. Uh, I'll write it up here. Okay. And remember, your IQR is always going to be smaller than your range. The shape of the data, we've talked a little bit about this, not too much. 
Um, symmetry is going to be a uniform distribution where it's symmetrical, right? It makes a mirror image if you fold it in half. This is not symmetrical. Um, skewed is when data is distributed more to one side, either left or right. And you can see this on different types of graphs. It's skewed to the left. Let's say our data makes a curve. And so this is skewed left where the tail is on the left. If it's skewed right, then maybe it looks like this, right? You have a tail on the right. This box plot, this is going to be skewed left because you have a bigger gap on the left-hand side. Um, if you looked over here, this is actually, this looks pretty symmetrical. Um, if we have some numbers, we could see if all the spaces were the same, but it, it looks like if we folded it in half, it would be um, symmetrical. So um, here is an example. This one, you can see it goes up and then it has a tail to the right. This would be skewed right. So we're going to take this information today and we're going to answer some questions using our foldy here, right? Cussing the data, center, unusual features, spread of the data, shape of the data. And we're going to kind of go through these together and then you're going to do some on your own. The box plot shows the daily attendance at the fitness club. Write one thing that you notice about this. So C is for center. We could say that our center is our median. We can say the center is about 72.5. Something unusual. Um, that looks, oh, look right here. What do we have over here? We have an outlier. So an unusual is we have an outlier. The first S is the spread of the data. We could find the range. We could find the IQR. You can see IQR 80 minus 65 it is 15. You could find the range 90, call it 56, is going to be, you got a borrow there, 34. And then the last S is the shape. And you can see um, this is maybe symmetrical. This might be a little bit longer. Um, we can, we can call it symmetrical for our purposes. Okay. Cause it's kind of hard to see the numbers there. Um, but it's fairly, fairly symmetrical down here using the box plot, determine which statement best represents. So now I'm giving you, um, same, same picture up there. We've written some different things and we should be able to see um, what's going on. There are no outliers. No, we said there is an outlier. This is false. The IQR and the range are the same. That is false. They're never going to be the same. Without the outlier, the data is fairly symmetrical. Yes, that's what we had even said up here. Because when we talk about um, symmetry, we are not including the outliers. In fact, let's go back to our foldy right here. And this is symmetry, not including outliers. Okay. Um, number three, Jasmine asked her class how many pets they had and displayed the data in a dot plot, which does not represent the data. Is the data skewed right? Well, there's a tail there, possibly. Do we have four as an outlier? Mm, I don't think there's any outlier. They're all grouped together. The mode is two. That's true. It's got the most. 24 responded. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 2, 3, 2, 4. That is true. And again, this is in fact screwed, skewed right. So B is not, we don't have an outlier. So make sure you're reading cautiously. On the next page, number four, we have a box plot. Uh, which statement represents the data? This is their quiz scores. Ooh, 
let's hope that's uh, going to be multiplied by something. The shape is symmetric. Absolutely not. Right? Because it needs to be equal. The median is 8. That's a true statement. The data is more spread out on the right side. No, it is actually, this is skewed left. And the IQR is 1.5, so we would do 6. So we would say 8.5 minus 6 is 1.5, so that is true. Um, so there's actually two true statements here, B and D, and that's okay. The dot plot below, actually, no, I'm sorry, that's a 2.5. That's a false. My bad. I was borrowing in my head. So just be, sorry about that. The dot plot shows the number of ways to roll each sum. How do you describe this shape? Well, let's see, we've got one and one, two and two, three and three, four and four, five and five, and then six in the middle. So this is symmetrical. It is exactly the same on both sides if we folded it in the middle. Um, and number six, here we have a dot plot, the classes each dancer takes. How would you describe the spread? Okay, well, if you remember spread, spread is range and or IQR. So we could say the range is 8 minus 1, the range is 7, and I'll be, we'll be good there. They didn't give us a box plot. If they give us a box plot, we could do IQR. I'm not going to ask you to... So that is your notes for today. What I'm going to ask you to do is there are 10 comparing population questions here. And then there's also going to be a little half sheet where you're comparing two, two more populations. So I'm going to ask you to work on these 10 and the half sheet. Um, and you can turn it in when you're done. I hope you have a great day.